Hey guys, it's uh, Sabia and Lauren here. Um, welcome back to our channel. I felt like I had to make that distinction because there's a lot of comments that have the wrong names in the wrong place. <laughs> so. Um, so for today's video, we're pretty much going to be updating you guys on Lauren's recovery and kind of plans moving forward. We have some big things coming up, mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be addressing those in the video. Yeah, and if you guys haven't, make sure to stop by RikerBros.com and check out our merch. We, we're actually doing quite a bit now. Yeah, we have quite a few designs. And, and quite a few things. Yeah, so, so check that out if you yeah. feel like it. And It'll, it should be right on the bottom here if my videographer did his job right. <laughs> Let's get to the video. So, as you guys know, uh, we came to Seattle to get a urostomy surgery done, which was successful. We got a urostomy, and actually, I'm pretty much already healed up. I, yeah. I'm not taking my shirt off to show you guys today, but <laughs> but I got all my staples out, and yeah, er, things have been going more than smoothly. Yeah. The only thing holding us in the hospital now is just my massive pain. Yeah, uh, but actually on Monday, um, Lauren has another surgery coming up for a nerve stimulator. Um, and I'll put a link down below in the description from this great article through Johns Hopkins University um, that really gives you pretty much all the information you need to know about nerve stimulators. Um, there's three different types. I'm not sure exactly which type Lauren is getting, but once I know that, we'll obviously let you guys know. Yep. But it's just supposed to help immensely with his pain. It's something that we've been fighting for him to get ever since we learned we've about it. We've been fighting for it for ever, like pretty months. much ever since my yeah. pain has been and, chronic. Um, so that's supposed to really help. It's supposed to help him lean down on those pain meds. And so hopefully, after that nerve stimulator surgery, um, he'll be able to wean off those IV pain meds and we can get discharged to the hospital. And then shortly after that, um, we're going to be set up with a pain management team at University of Washington, the medical stuff over there, to help Lauren kind of work through the nerve stimulator stuff and just kind of refresh the pointers on pain management for him. So those. They'll, they'll sit us down and basically mm -hmm. consult with us about what all options there is, what they think will be best, and what is capable for us to maintain back at home. Yeah. Because since we live in Montana and not Washington, we're pretty we're way more limited in what we're able yeah. to do. So that'll that'll be really nice, um, and hopefully, you know, we're supposed to get discharged. Um, not long after that nerve stimulator gets put in on Monday and hopefully after that we're only in Seattle for uh, like three or four more weeks give or take so we'll actually if we can get me discharged fully we will meet more than a few, few of you guys if you are here in Seattle yeah. we're down to do meet and greets and I'm gonna show Lauren some places that I went when his surgery first happened I'm gonna take him down by the apartment where um his family and I stayed when his surgery happened and shown Harborview and kind of give him a lay of the land of. It's cool. I uh, there's a woman on my on one of my teams here that was actually she's on the urostomy uh, urostomy team because they have multiple teams that work in different sectors of what's going on. I guess and uh, she was actually a student. Oh yeah. Um, while I was while I was having my surgery and recovering over at Harborview, which is in here in Seattle, yeah. where we're at. Yeah, I think she's the second person we've met that was um, either a student at that time or on the team. Yep. But yeah, so it's it's definitely been an interesting stay. And once Lauren gets discharged, I'll actually be able to see the city with him and stuff like that. So it'll be pretty exciting. I've been putting off really going anywhere big. I hit the zoo in Tacoma with some friends um, like a week ago. <laughs> but other than that, I haven't really gone out to see any of like the must-sees of the city because I've been waiting for this one to get discharged so he can see him with me. But yeah. I'll still be, I'll, I'll be uh, wagon bound though yeah. for, the, for our 
stay here. His body prosthetic is on its way to our prosthetician right now. Um, had Abby send that out today or bring it to Clark so that they can send it out. But um, it's on its way uh, to our prosthetician to be adjusted for Lauren's new hole. So hopefully around the time we're going home, his body prosthetic will be done. Will be done. And so, I'll be setting it up. And that would be just peachy. Yes, I got Lauren a new wagon. Yes. Um, his old red one was kind of falling apart. Falling apart. Actually, it was like the back wheels were like slowly coming out. <laughs> yeah, and it was about squeaking to break. And, and it was really small for him anyway. Like I don't know if any of you, like those of you who watched the videos that he was in the wagon, he was just kind of like, you know, tight in it. So I got a new wagon. It's a double this width of the one we had before. So he has more room got some for his shoulders, and it's got a higher weight limit. It's got a little canopy on it to block him from the sun. It's a good one. It'll last us a while for whenever he can't be in a wheelchair. So I just I'm excited. Love how excited she gets. I like having comfortable, safe ways for you to like. The red wagon was nice, but I always got worried of it because like you were barely fitting in it, you know, and it didn't look very comfy. And this one, you know, if it's too hot, you're blocked from the sun, and you have more space to move. It's just nicer. It's got a little storage compartment for all your gadgets and stuff. It's just, it'll be, I'm more comfortable when you're more comfortable. So yes, I'm excited about the wagon. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, that is all we have for yeah. you guys right now. Um, we will update you after the surgery we'll, and when we get this We'll, we'll, we'll update you guys as soon as possible, as soon as we have anything to update. Yes. Or anything to say to you yeah. guys. We'll let you guys know when more things have happened. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, be sure to check out the merch shop, like Lauren said. We have some new designs in there. At RikerBros.com. Again, should be right here. And then, and yeah, uh, comment like subscribe if you feel like it but most importantly share yes and check out the article down below as well if any of you are people who like to know more um it's a great arc article about the nerve stimulator kind of give you a more in-depth understanding of it so yeah Peace. we'll see you guys next time see you guys have a good one